Hey guys, it's Jacob from Jam Brothers. Today, I will be starting my own country in a game that is called Sin Meyer Civilization. I've played it before many times. It's a really fun game, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So let's jump in and create our own very own empire. Okay guys, so let's go. For loading in, I May chose the Alexander the Great you, of the Greek, Greek Empire. Alexander. And now let's go in. Mighty Greek nation. Your people lived for so many years in isolated city states. Legendary cities such as Athens, Sparta, Thebes. And here I am. Ooh, this is a good spawn. I have bananas and incense. Incense is a um there's luxury resources which makes your people more happy. And in this you want your people to be happy, so they produce happiness, which makes golden ages start. And also you can't just get things. So you have to research for them. So let's research. Let's see what we have. We should research pottery so we can get calendar, which will make us able to get the incense. So yes, we're doing pottery. And I have some warriors right here. Would you start with them? This is the tech tree. There's a lot of things you have to research. Okay, so I'm moving my people. Over here I don't know where I am but I made sure that um, the map looks like the real world so I'm actually on a real continent also there are other let's see what um, my advisors are telling me Athens needs production to build things faster use your workers to build mines nearby okay I'm getting workers I'm gonna rename my capital to Jam Brother Opia. Jam Brother Opia. Because it sounds like a city and it's Jam Brothers. So, let's move here. Oh, there's some ruins. Ruins are, you can find ruins from ancient civilizations. And when you get on them, they give you certain things. The ruins gave me culture, which culture makes you able to get your social policies, which um, give you things in the game. See, I can adopt my first culture. Either tradition, liberty, or honor. I'm going for liberty, because you can get a free settler, so you can get another city, and a citizenship. What And get citizenship, which gives you a free worker, which is also good. There's a lot of wine over here and here. I'm probably going to settle a city here, so I have coast. And so, and so my people will be able to, um, my people will be able to, um, make boats so I can start a navy. And there's also barbarians. Barbarians are, oh yeah, I forgot, I found a city-state. City-state is like a small, uh, a small country that can only have one city, and you can be friends with them, and they actually help you in war. Yes, you can go to war and skip. Let's go to demo let's go to demographics. Um, I have six thousand people living in this one city. I'm second best in population and there are ten countries. Oh look! Ruins! We got more ruins. So once we move there, um, we finished pottery, and let's do animal hunts for me, because that's what my advisors want me to do, and I usually listen to them because they a drawn map, which so I got more map, so I know where I am. Oh, I know, I think I know where I am. I'm in Africa. Yeah, look, this is Africa. So let's move it here. Oh, there's another city state. You can see its borders right there. Wonder what it's gonna be. Let's move to it. Oh, more ruins. There's a lot of ruins in the beginning of the game. Uh oh. Oh, I got 65 gold. I still wonder who those are. Oh, my city's grown. Now I have um, sheep too. Oh no, they're attacking my warriors. That's not good. Should probably do that. It helps them heal. Actually, I'm moving to the city state. Because 
most of the time in this game if you're a different country when you're in their border it makes them angry but when greece's special thing is that um it doesn't make them angry and why i moved here is that because cities can shoot like arrows and stuff at um enemies and so i went in there because they they're gonna shoot the they're most likely gonna shoot the barbarians see and this not help me when they attack me because it's in the damage. And now I can take them out. Oh, my workers are done. And let's see. My advisors want me to either build a settler or a scout. I'm gonna build a scout because I want a good military. And the only thing I can do right now is make a farm because in the beginning of the game, you start with the ability to make farms. So that's what my workers are gonna be doing, making a farm. Oh, you I finished and look, there's a Bible here, so that's nice. Um, allows workers to construct pastures on cows and sheep. Now I can get the sheep that are in my territory, because your territory grows the more turns you have. And now the sheep are right here. And now I can get them, because I got animal husbandry. Now I can get archery. And I can move these guys here. Exploring for more ruins. My people are at five happiness. Yeah, I'm definitely in Africa. I can tell. Oh, look, I met Russia. I met Russia, which might not be good. Get a worker or get um settler. Which one? I think I should get a settler. You can use the right mouse button to direct your unit's movement. Um, let's move over here. I got settlers now, and I'm gonna move them up and over here. Hopefully, they don't get taken by barbarians, cause barbarians can't take them. I'm. Oh, Russia is angry at me. For some reason, because they must be, let's see why they're angry. Because they want lands I own. Because they're near, they their city must be very close to mine and they want more land. So they're gonna do whatever they can to take it probably. And that's why I should work on my growing my military. Let's see. The Russian military is around the same strength as us. So they don't, they don't, well, Russia has the most land, which explains why they're being mean to me about having puny land. I'm gonna build a monument, because it makes my city grow. Uh-oh. I'm hoping they don't get taken. Hoping the barbarians will attack me right there. But I'm moving. No! That's sad. They took my settlers. I'm about to get archery. So I can make archers and I'm gonna come after them next to get my settlers back. I'm at my points are 22. Let's go to demographics. Um, I'm not the best in the sadly. That's where they came from. At least I know where I need to go to get them back. And then I'll move all of them there to get, um, the sheep. Because the sheep will give me food. Give my people more food. I'm gonna have to take my settlers and move them over here. So yes. And now right here. 
Let's move these guys over here. There, I feel like they're following me. World most fed. I, hey, I have the best world fed people. That's good. Some people don't even have fed people. That's sad. I haven't. There's 10 other um, big civilizations in this game besides mine, but they're all AIs. archery. I think I buy an archer. I bought an archer and I'm gonna send them over to get my settlers back. Because they can attack from long distances, which is good. Now I'm researching. I go to tech tree. I should probably research mining. Because so I can get these also. But you can get wonders in this. I don't, ha I can build the Temple of Artemis, which is a wonder, but you can build like the pyramids. You can build the Great Wall of China. You can build the Statue of Liberty, but that's much farther in the game for, from where we are now. We're only on our 27th. I'm only on my 27th turn. Oh, my city grown. Okay, they're denouncing us. They say, what did I do? I don't know what I did, but um, they're saying I'm a I'm bad person for some reason. I don't know what I did in this game. Okay, so they attacked me and I shot them. But archers, when they since they're a ranged attack unit, when they attack, it doesn't do any damage to them, but it does damage to the people they're attacking. Melee, it does damage to them and the person they're attacking. So, in a, um, range units are kind of, are better. I'm going to build some settlers. That's what my economic advisor is telling me to do. So, I should probably do it. going to get my settlers back and I'm going to move them over here so I can once I get calendar I can get um I can get the sugar which makes my people happy because she doesn't like sugar okay there's a, my workers are going over there I'm going to heal my army up right here Um, when it comes to soldiers, I am the second. I have the second strongest army, which is a good thing. So if people do attack me, I'll be able to fight them off. Ooh, more. Sh more um, I'm hoping Russia doesn't take it. But don't worry, um, barbarians can't take. Ooh. Oh, I discovered mining. That was quick. My advisors tell me to get bronze working. Well, majority of them. Uh-oh, I need to run. They're trying to take, because they can also take workers. Now I can get my, settler, my settlers back and then move them here and found a city. Uh-oh. I took out two of the barbarians. Now I'm moving on my Sailors in the city, so I mean my workers in the city, so they can't take them because they can take workers and they can take settlers. Now, let's um, they can't attack just yet because it would probably still make them die. You know, wait till they're weaker. Right. Alright, they broke my, um, chief's pen. They, um, pillaged it. So now, I no longer have a sheep. For right now. I have to fix after I kill the barbarians. Oh, yay. 
there on a hill, that means I should do the barrage one, which makes them, which make my um, archers do more damage when they're on a hill. So now we can attack these guys. Now we can attack these guys with my settlers. And see, I got their encampment, but uh oh, there's there's warriors right here on some sheep, and but that's okay. They might kill my so my scouts and take my settlers now, which would be annoying, but it's fine. Okay. Which dies right there. And for some reason they make people happy. Uh oh. No! They took my settlers again. Now I'm gonna have to take them. go back to work because it's on the opposite side of where the barbarians are these guys just basically almost went in a circle doing pretty well we get more settlers I'm about to get my settlers back just, um, um oh darn it they're back might have to no they're Um, I'm moving my settlers up still. What do you guys already know? I'm putting my um, archers there, and I'm making a farm there. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm not get those. There's settlers probably from Russia, but I can actually take them from Russia, or I could give them back. Hmm. Statue of Zeus. Should I build? I build the Statue of Zeus because it um makes my um it makes my um warriors stronger. Uh, not just warriors, any of my military. So we're gonna start researching calendar so I can get the incense and sugar because you need it to get the sugar also. Wow. They have a lot of land. Oh yeah, you can also buy tiles. I'm gonna buy tiles there just so it's connecting. And my settlers are done, so I'm gonna move them up. They're almost there. So let's move on. Uh -oh. I'm gonna find the city right here and then buy the tile right there. So I need to move them to the clouds just to discover where this is. Maybe I'll find um maybe I'll find um another ruin. Hopefully. Um so yeah. Um we're almost got we're gonna find the city this turn. Or maybe next, I forgot. Um, are warriors gonna be healing? Oh, my people are unhappy because of how much cities I have. For some reason, the more cities you have, the less happiness your um, um city does. So I, my people are too unhappy, which is not good. Um, so let's do that. Buy this one. Let's see how much land. We have a higher average of land. So yeah, good thing. We don't have, um, the str we have the sixth strongest military now. We no longer have the second strongest, sadly. Waiting a unit in doors. Oh, my archers, and they heal them. Oh wow, they heal fast. I'm obviously in Africa. So, yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna, it's 45 turns, our 50th turn. Um, I'm gonna do 50 turns per video, which is a pretty good amount, especially for, um, solo mode. What, for, cause this is a, you can also do a multiplayer game of this, what, what the, which is fun. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go to the 50th turn and that will be the end of the video. It was a, it was a good first video. I got three cities already. I need to find a way to make them happy. I know, I'll send the, I'll send my war workers up here. Go ahead and buy that so it's closer to my other, cause I like having my cities connecting for some reason. And then move them over here to build a farm. Pretty well. This first um, video, because this is gonna be a series, hopefully. If it does well, or if it doesn't do well, I'm still gonna make it a series. Let's see it. What year? It, is. it says what the year it is in the game, and in the game it is 2,120 BC, which is pretty nice. Uh-oh. Oh, 
wait, no, they can fight back actually because of how weak these guys are. Because they already are low on health. It would be three barbarian brutes versus six scouts. I'm kind of. These guys are kind of trapped here, so I'm just not but automated, which makes them um, move where, just towards places I haven't discovered yet. Oh, more runes. I told you there might be runes. Don't worry, um, barbarians can't take runes. Uh oh. That's not good. Somehow, they almost won. Oh, that's sad. It was just the map. This is around like the Middle East part. Like this is where Israel would be. Um, so yeah. Oh, I met someone else. Of Siam. Siam. Don't know where Siam is on the map. Nice to meet someone else then. Russia, because Russia is not very nice. People with the pointiest sticks, which means who has the strongest military. Oh, I'm str I have a stronger military than Russia. Sure. I thought they had a stronger military than me. Um, I should probably research the wheel so I can get chariots, which are pretty strong. Especially, oh, it's the 50th turn, so I guess we did pretty well. We have, let's go, we have a warrior, we have a scout, and we have an archer. And we also have um, three cities, which is nice. So, that's the end of this video. See you guys later, and goodbye!